Good morning YTPC and a Merry Christmas to you It's here on the 25th of December 2022 Our little part of the world is beginning to uh, stir Kids are probably been for a few hours earlier But it just turned uh, I'm enjoying Molly and I now walk. Oh, one of them. Here's an interesting little spot. Holly's Farm. Small holding where you can get fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh eggs. And chicken and interestingly uh, he's an innovator because he's been crossing uh, some of these normal hens with a banjo so fundamentally you've got uh, chickens that are self pluckers happy days anyway I'll leave you for a little while I'll go past this private residence and I'll catch you again shortly Okay, my. Back with you. I know if this uh, terrain looks familiar, it is similar to where I've taken you before, but it's not the same. Could be one of those uh, special birds there. Yeah, we're about a mile and a half away from the area. And normally, uh, or one of the areas I take you in, where I did all the civil engineering, that's nearly finished. This place here, this little run, you see that branch there, on a number of occasions, I've, I won't say disturbed. But a peregrine falcon has moved down and then perched on there looking for prey because this area here normally, and this morning is going to prove me wrong is Blackbird Alley The blackbirds generally, a profusion of them are feeding under the leaf litter here um, to the right Oh, you might see a few horses over there I'm not sure but uh, certainly all around here is very much horse country in this generally there's a few hoof prints here um, there's also a bridle area but uh, the fact that this foliage is still here suggests it's not been down for a while let's see if we can get a better look at those uh, the horse over in that area Uh, you may see little dots. There's also generally horse. Ah, look like the new bell of hay delivered. So, uh, yeah, Ken. OWR channel. Not a bad place to, to stable scout. Mind you, you probably prefer to be in San Francisco. San Francisco they don't feed the horses here you could kill the kindness yeah so previous video I did going down Fairy Glen we come through a footbridge uh, on the right well if you followed that this is where it would bring you so this morning I brought a few uh, little morsels Is it, again it'll prove me wrong have we seen a blackbird? no and generally when I go down the bottom end there's a, a robin hops along keeps me company so I generally take it a few little tidbits but again 
<laughs> it's not happened. They're probably just camera shy. There we go. So, Christmas Day. Sort of signifies a special time. Well, of course, it's a special time of the year. It's a day that represents the birth of my saviour. It's a time of reflection. I know it's not New Year, it's not far away. But being thankful for what we have got. Oh, hey Blackbird. If you can't see it, you can hear it. <laughs> not camera shy. We can hear a few. But maybe the uh, peregrine falcon's been feeding up, who knows. Yeah, that, excuse my ignorance. That's why I just give Molly a little. Just a little run keeper brain taking over. Molly, stay. 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 Oof. I'll have to try that one again. <whistles> You're all enthusiastic, are you? Dead. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Mark. Molly. Find the bird. There we go. She's been keen. I've had a few little jobs to do before I come out. Get on. The nose is letting her down this morning. Good girl. Good girl, Molly. Yeah, I know. So many smells. Yeah, dead. Good girl. We could go that way. Oh, not yet. We carry on down and uh, across. She's keen, she's been bottled up. I say I've had a few chores this morning before coming out. I think it's getting late about quarter past eight now, it's now quarter to nine. Late in the day for Molly and I. So she was eager. We forgive you that, don't we, Molly dog? Mind you, I take it for granted. We can see a few horse been down here. Uh, I take it for granted she's going to be listening, do as I ask. So sometimes you just need to reassert that. Uh, let's call it authority, shall we? Hey Molly, but we're supposed to be a team. I said, I don't know. She was making so I don't know who it was. It said. Uh, if you've been a viewer and you become a presenter, I think it was what has changed for you. I thought, uh, there, it's obvious, isn't it? What was not motivated to take up anybody's time by writing what virtually everyone else would put down. I didn't. But on reflection, here's a little time bomb. How has it changed? Not changed. How has it. Oh. My brain these days. <laughs> Many days. How has it enriched? the word I was struggling for and through getting to know people having supports mutual support 
Um, crikey, that's not a bad thing, is it? But then you get to meet people, you know, some people have been good enough, kind enough, inspirational enough to have these meetings, Zoom meetings, virtual pipe clubs, and then to meet, albeit virtually, individuals and share stories and humour and other things has been marvellous. Oh yes, it's enriched my life by giving me a, a new circle of friends. But again, I think everyone can relate to that. But what it's taken me to is yet another level. People, yes, you can be inspired, but I mean spiritually. And there's quite a number of people who have had that effect on my life. Here on Christmas Day, December the 25th, 2022, it's probably a good time to, to mention it. There's so many. But some have take, taken it to another level when I say inspired. I will mention some names. Cliff Higgins. If you've not watched his channel, why not? He doesn't smoke a pipe these days. Disclaimer. But what he has to say is just pure your gold. People through this community I've been able to again meet, albeit virtually, people like Malcolm Gate, G-U-I-T-E Gate, not Gate but Gate, a poet in the main an ordained minister, an author. Well, look out at his channel. If you're, if you're a Christian as I am, I'm not meaning to. I really don't mean to insult anybody with their own beliefs. I think it's marvellous that you have a belief. I don't mean it in that vein. I'm saying how it's affected me as an individual. And then two people in particular I feel I've connected spiritually with that they have given me a boost in their beliefs. And that is uh, Professor Jeremiah who's been missing for a few months um, off the, the airwaves and preaching man piper Doc Doc Atfield so I just wanted to mention those two gentlemen anyway the rain is just beginning to come down did I bring a pipe with me? yes I did it's my Oh, this is coming up. <laughs> You've seen it before, no doubt. Northern Briars, Calabash. G4. And in it, I've already packed, ready to uh, ignite. And now, Molly, just before we go any further, let's see if we've. Uh... Molly, come here. Stay. Stay. Mark, find a bird. What I'd done on the, or didn't do in the very first retrieve. Good girl. Good girl. Molly, here. Good girl. You see that? that got fresh on it? Hey, something's been kicked up by a horse. We'll move that in case anyone slips. I was stood almost in line with her. Come here. I should be here. She, Molly, come back. She should be behind my left leg. Well, let's move on. We'll go this way today, will we? Oh, some of the woods. Oh, it's smoky. It's smoky. Will be smoky. 
from Peterson's Mixture 965. Well, there's a new tobacconist in Warrington. It's been there for a month now. It devotes itself primarily to cigars. But it does have quite a varied stock of Samuel Gaweth and Gaweth and Gaweth Hoggeth blends in jars would you believe no no tins i just got some recently yeah. some bothy mixture can you see that tobacco i've got the camera on my head so <laughs> I believe it's cavendish oh no i'm gonna get it all wrong now brown cavendish does that make sense i'm sure these things have been written on the back let's have a look I've got my glasses in. Brown Cavendish mixed with Orient tobaccos and small leaf or small Latakia leaves. Small Latakia leaves. Now I've seen this twice now described on pipe tobacco. Small Latakia leaves. I've not come across that before. And the rain is beginning to precipitate my. Oh! Are we going to see the sunrise? It's already reflecting on the, the cloud. I've been given a Zippo. And uh, this, uh, I've had a Zippo in the past, but it didn't really like me. Seen to run out of fuel in an instant. Never kept, it just seemed to evaporate. And it was a normal insert this I've got one of the uh, pipe inserts and uh, <laughs> this works works pretty good however whether it's me putting too much of a draw when lighting up with it oh wait the rain has gone off before I do get a taste <laughs> um, it taints either the tobacco or the bowl or my tongue um, or has done so I probably need to I don't know if anyone else experiences that I know one individual that I spoke to he said yes it does well, it can but it's very convenient Gives you good reliable. Somebody remember where we are now. Not going down Fairy Glen. Oh, seen fox up here recently. Um, okay. I'll just leave you for a little while. Well, still raining. I thought it might have gone off so I could light my pipe. But the sun's up now. Oh, Ooh, just over half an hour. One thing is supposed to be cut for now, so you're looking at sunrise. Or sun, you want to know how long you've got sun. One finger, two finger, three, four's an hour. I think that's correct. If not, please let me know. There's a couple of people live on the boats there in the marina. And unfortunately, the fire engines were there. Got a bit over enthusiastic with the fire. Oh, we have vehicle, Molly. So I train her to come on the inside. So she's safe. <laughs> Very good. You know, <laughs> I'll say, here we go. This is going to be the blackbird thing now, isn't it? Don't see any. All the drivers that come down here 
tend to recognise us and the fact we're doing our best to be out of the way. There we go. Looking genial. Oh, wow. A bit of a landscape across the fields the other side of the river to the hills. Oh yeah, the right clothing, you can just keep on walking through that. What's that, my leave? You've got no clothing. Oh, well. Do you know, the horse back there, no matter what the weather is, they've always got a long face. So, <laughs> Christmas Day. Well, we get back. It's our turn to host the family. So looking forward to it. The alternate staying with us. We're coming to ours on a one year, then down to Steph's mother and father's the next year. And before the pandemic, <laughs> yeah. You know, there has been the opportunity to spend Christmas as a whole, you know, renting a, a large home. That's the initiative of Steph's mum and dad. Wow. <laughs> At that time, you have responsibilities elsewhere. We, we were not able to take that time. And I say it's a time of reflection as well for me and perhaps a lot of other people and my thoughts go out of my little sphere to other people and the challenges they've got people I know, people we know, you know and there is a power in prayer we're going this same way so they I would invite if you know someone recovering or going through situations or about to embark as Aretha Franklin would say say a little prayer do you know it's beautiful there's no such thing they say about it, but they're just in adequate clothing. This could be a pipeless walk, my lunt. Yeah, this bridge has actually collapsed a couple of years back. That's the old bridge. But they replaced it with this mechanical lever bridge. So one thing possibly there might be plans to reinstate the canal. I used to fish here. No chance now. Since the power stations closed down, uh, surplus water from the cooling towers that used to go into the canal and out into the Mersey is no more so apparently down at that end it's quite dry there's a kennel set I'm not weaving up in here, we won't use kennels that reminds me I was fishing on the uh, the River Banwy, a place called Clanfair Crinian in Wales. Beautiful river, sea trout, trout, grayling. I was working my way up the river and I saw what you may be seeing now, a boils. Wow, well, you know, fly fishermen. Trout. But what it was was an overhead cable. Which I bring a point to if you fly fishing. If I, when I was taking people, I would do um, 
risk assessment, I'd walk the river, I'd wade the river, make sure it was safe. But sometimes as an individual, you're engrossed, you're working your way up, you're changing your flies, changing the angle of the cast. Thank you, Gordon. You might miss something like that. Mind you, certain parts of the world might not have that uh, challenge, but certainly in the United Kingdom, Great Britain, there's every chance. Oh, there's a gun dog, she's on my left. If you would carry him, you'd gun on your right. And this box seems to want a hug. <laughs> it's side of the path. Oh, we just have to educate you, Molly. Thing is, in uh, the highway code, you should, if there's no pavement, you should walk on the side where you're facing oncoming traffic. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas, sir. Here's a gentleman. I think he's just fascinated by that vessel, and who wouldn't be? Yeah, this is a poor unfortunate that had the fire. No one, no one was hurt. Thank goodness. But it's very much a timber boat. I'm amazed they've managed to save what they have. We've even got pirates. So there we go. And this is the box. One of the people I meet regulars said they saw two kingfisher down along the brook. Which is marvellous because going back in the day, the shield or the coat of arms for this the village that was, it's now expanded a wee bit, was three, I think what they call popping jay, but were actually obviously kingfisher. So it's nice to know they're still around. Good morning, Good morning. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, I'm not far from a kingfisher's nest or nesting place. I'm not going to point it out. Should we have a look at the river, Molly? these blocks have been used for reinforcement when they were replacing the gates on the locks. It's a sailing club. Yeah this year my queen has passed and I have a king, King Charles III King's speech this afternoon. Oh, oh wow, wow, wow. You stay there. Oh, you've got a runway. You can see the amount of silt they have to move. No, you stay there, man. I'll maintain it. And that pipe that runs for the power station, the water's drawn off over there, that building on the curve. On the bend of the river. Yeah, three monarchs been in my lifetime. So I think King Charles III is my third. Oh, get the right 
There is a profusion of rabbit that is in there. There's a lot of rabbit around this area, full stop. Smolly picks up on things. Molly, here die. Let's just sit down in case there's a, a rogue dog. Rogue dog. Hmm. I hope everyone, <laughs> all you pipe smokers, get a chance to light a pipe today. I know this is probably my last chance because I won't smoke around the kids. Not that they haven't said that they do enjoy smell of granddad pipe. Oh. self-embargo well I know no one's come down here this morning the harbour master's got the gate locked Traffic down here, Molly. It's amazing how well that boat would scrub up given the opportunity. The one that's uh, tainted there. Uh, smoke relatively mild hmm that brown covered dish uh, certainly uh, gels well a yacht person baby you recognize the vessels here I know that's a moody ah, can't remember the length 36 I know the gentleman that owns it He's going to circumnavigate the world. How old is he? 32. And he's going to work his way around. Oh, crikey. Reminds me of the uh, vessel that was here. It was a floating bank. Yeah, he used to go around the Isles in the north of Scotland. Bank of Scotland, but it was moored up here for a while on the sleepway. Called the Otter Bank. I 
will do a little film on it. Maybe not today. <laughs> I'll probably have a, a list of additional ones I get back. No nails. Is that what this is? I can see the swan up ahead. They're beginning to disperse. They had seven signets grown up and they seem to have been flying off leaving the proverbial nest Hmm. Nice smoke. No, yeah, I was smoking it last night. Oh. Catch you again soon. Well, oh. back on the river. geese following the tide down duck molly here yeah. stay molly find a bird get on come on <whistles> try and whistle with a pipe in your mouth Go on, I've got a whistling pipe. Good girl. Dead. Good girl. Well. A rook. Molly. Molly, come here. Three Rivers birthday last weekend. So we, we were down here, the whole family come from far and wide. I only booked a room down at the bottom. If we, hmm. Any building's just four walls, isn't it? Generally. <laughs> All buildings are made up of walls. What makes an establishment of the people? You know, all people will vibes are all over the place. And this is the famous Glaston Ferry stage. And the likes of Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Stone Roses. I've never played here, <laughs> but they've had some tribute bands which have done a pretty good job. Hmm. This, oh dear. Oh my. This table is a tribute to an old friend. Sounds like his mother's. Yeah. 
sebelah sekali And maybe one day, God willing on the horizon is a lump it's Halton Castle the Vikings used to maraud up here and they had settlements that's why the local rugby, oh say local in that direction the local team called the Vikings witness from Belize it used to be called the chemicals because that's what they did as Warrington known for its wire making in that direction rugby team was always known as the wire but now commercialism one thing or other they're known as Warrington Wolves hmm. Tamworth my land <laughs> where's oh free swamp she right up These ducks and things will get fed all through the day. Got it again. Hmm. Last one to leave the nest there. Eh? Ah, oh, I see it's somewhat watery sky. Well, Molly and I will make our way back. Okay, I'll pipe on my pipe. With the sun rising over North Cheshire. I hope you all have a, a wonderful day and I hope you have good fellowship and don't be on your own take care catch you again soon